guys, I'm Nick from MicroCenter. So you have ESET installed on your computer and it's not acting the way it should. It's either not updating, you can't check for the new product versions, giving you errors, things like that. It's just not doing what you want it to do. What we're going to show you today is kind of an overview of the advanced settings for ESET and how to basically fix issues like it not updating and things like that. So provided that you have all your license and information, this video will help you basically clean up ESET and make it work for you. So let's get started. All right, so we're at our desktop here. Let's go ahead and open up ESET. You'll see right here, this is the main page for ESET Smart Security 6. It's also similar to ESET 932. To get to the Advanced Setup page, you can click on Setup, scroll down and click Enter Advanced Setup, or you can simply just click F5 on your keyboard. This will bring you to the Advanced Setup page. And what we're gonna do first is click on the plus sign next to Update. This is where most people are gonna go to do pretty much anything if ESET's not working properly. So click the plus sign next to update and then click on the update drop down menu. You will see your profile which has your username and your password and you will see an option to clear update cache. So if your ESET's not updating or if you can't check the new product version, you can't do a number of things, the first thing you should do, F5 on your keyboard when ESET selected and click on the update tab and click update here and then click clear update cache. Once that button goes gray and you can't click it again, just click OK at the bottom. That'll take you back to your main page and you can click update now and then it'll go and check for any updates that are on your version of ESET. This one here is completely up to date, so there's nothing to install. It'll tell you right here, updates not necessary, which means that, hey, it was able to check for updates and there was none, but at least you can check for updates that are producing an error. Let's go ahead and go back into the advanced settings page real quick. We'll click F5. And we're right back to where we were before. We'll close that out. Even over tools, you can ch check your log files, view a proxy server if you use one, any quarantine items and settings that you want to do. So for quarantine, you can basically have it rescan the quarantine files after every update. Number of things you can do in here. These are mostly just for tweaking and making ESET run the way you want it to do. If you have ESET Smart Security, which as you can see, we have ESET Smart Security 6, you'll have a parental controls option. And you can do a number of things in here. Uh, you can let your you can limit what people can check, things like that, uh, that use your computer like your kids or whatever. You can limit different users what they can do. Web and email, kind of just met, um, modifying the way that you browse the internet, your network connections, personal firewalls, things like that. A number of things you can do in here. The biggest one, though, is under the Update tab, click Update, and then click Clear Cache, and then click OK at the bottom. That usually gets ESET up and running. We have a number of different videos for different troubleshooting options for ESET if it's not running. That's just a basic overview of the first thing you really want to try if your ESET's not working and you have the correct licensing information. You can double check the licensing information by the email that you got when you purchased ESET, either from microcenter.com or ESET.com, wherever you bought it. You have to activate it at some point in time. You should have gotten an email. You may want to check your spam folder. Sometimes it gets thrown in there for whatever reason, depending on how your um, email provider filters things. But you should have the most updated version of your license information into the ESET, and everything should go smoothly from that point on. Like I said, if it doesn't, number of videos that we have that can help you guys get ESET running the way you want it to. And if you have any more questions, you can always contact us at microcentertech.com.